Long before humans appeared on Earth, a giant roamed the prehistoric wilds. Its height was twice as tall as a man's. The size of its teeth could be likened to bananas, and its arms were strong enough to uproot trees. But were they this powerful and huge? How do we know that they existed? Plus, how does this compare to today's apes like gorillas, orangutans, and chimpanzees? These questions must have made your head scratch before you clicked on this video. But don't worry, you are in the right place to know everything about the largest ape that ever existed, the Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus, also known as the giant ape, gives us a glimpse into how primates lived back then. This extinct gorilla-like animal lived in Southeast Asia during the early to middle Pleistocene roughly between 2 million and 350,000 years ago. Only a few fossils of Gigantopithecus have been found, mainly teeth and jaw bones. The first evidence of this ape came in 1935, when Ralph von Kienigswald, an anthropologist, bought two third molar teeth labeled as dragon teeth from a drugstore in Hong Kong. These teeth were originally intended for use in traditional Chinese medicine. In 1939, he acquired more teeth and discovered they came from Guangdong and Guangxi. In 1952, von Kienigswald identified the molars as belonging to a previously unknown extinct ape species, which he named Gigantopithecus, meaning giant ape. In 1956, over a thousand teeth and the first jawbones were found in Kuching. Between 1957 and 1963, Further excavations revealed two additional mandibles and more than a thousand more teeth from at least 16 different sites across southern China. Its facial features might have been similar to its closest living species, featuring brow ridges and a sturdy jaw, which indicated that they had a powerful herbivorous diet. Gigantopithecus was a huge prehistoric ape with a diet that mainly included tough, fibrous plants. Its jaws were built to grind, cut, and crush these hardy plants. Initially, scientists thought Gigantopithecus ate a lot like giant pandas, mainly munching on bamboo. But with new research and chemical analysis of their tooth enamel, it turns out Gigantopithecus didn't eat as much bamboo as once believed. Instead, it turns out their molars showed signs that they enjoyed fruits and other sweet plants. Even though they looked big and scary, they weren't terrifying. They were good-hearted animals. Gigantopithecus is thought to have been a herbivore, mostly eating fruits, leaves, and other plants. Their molars have a high cavity rate of 11%, suggesting that sweet, sugary fruits like figs, mulberries, breadfruits, and bananas were also part of their diet. These fruits are still regular dishes for gorillas and monkeys today. Some estimates suggest that Gigantopithecus might have disappeared around 100,000 years ago, possibly living alongside early Homo sapiens. However, this idea isn't widely accepted by many researchers. They say that their size was a big contributor to their extinction. Aaron Clough, a computer scientist at the University of Boulder, explains his theory for large animals quite well. While being large can have short-term benefits, it comes with long-term risks. Bigger animals need more food and have fewer offspring, resulting in smaller, more vulnerable populations. This isn't just a problem for Gigantopithecus. Other large animals, like giant sloths, faced similar challenges and also went extinct because of their size. Recent studies suggest that climate change had a big impact on Gigantopithecus. These giant apes needed a lot of food to stay healthy and strong, mainly eating low-lying plants like stems, roots, and grasses. But during the Pleistocene, their forest home changed to open savannas. Being so large, Gigantopithecus couldn't adapt well to climbing and struggled to find enough food in the reduced forest areas. This led to starvation and their eventual extinction. If they had been smaller, they might have adapted better and survived in the changing environment much like their orangutan relatives. Their large size made them helpless in certain situations, leading to higher death rates and eventually extinction. Another possible factor in their extinction could be the arrival of early humans. 
Evidence of human activity in southern China goes back to around 800,000 years ago, but it became more common after Gigantopithecus disappeared. It's possible that competition for resources or hunting by humans played a role in their extinction. As they were the world's largest primates, you might be thinking that other animals of that time might be terrified of them, finding ways to keep them away from their families. But actually, there are no signs of them showing aggressiveness towards other animals. They were herbivores and focused on eating fruits rather than preying. If needed to defend themselves at some point, they only needed to roar and pose a threat to their opponent. Even though Gigantopithecus is long extinct, it's thought that many may have remained an inspiration for other ape legends, such as Bigfoot, Yeti, and Sasquatch. These giant beings still blow our imaginations today. Plus, an interesting fact here, when the movie The Jungle Book was remade in 2016, King Louis was depicted as a massive Gigantopithecus. Comparing Gigantopithecus to modern gorillas shows how huge they were. Gigantopithecus stood about 3 meters or 10 feet tall and weighed around 272 kilograms or 600 pounds. On the other hand, a silverback gorilla, the biggest ape today, is about 1.7 meters or 5 feet 5 tall and weighs around 181 kilograms or 400 pounds. If you put a silverback next to Gigantopithecus, it would look like a rather small child next to a giant. This huge size difference gave Gigantopithecus a big advantage in strength. Its massive arms could easily crush a silverback's bones, and its bite was three times stronger, causing serious harm. Gigantopithecus wasn't just about brute strength. Its size and grinding power likely made it excellent at crushing tough plants and maybe even scavenging bones. Silverbacks are also strong fighters with sharp canines and a powerful bite force, allowing them to tackle small mammals and protect their families fiercely. But against a huge animal like Gigantopithecus, would a tiny silverback gorilla's strength and power be enough? Scientists say that the thick fur on them would have acted as a natural armor against any predators. They also wouldn't have been hurt by wounds and cuts with that hairy body. If we, hypothetically, put both of them against each other to a fight, Gigantopithecus would be much larger and stronger than a silverback gorilla. Its roar would stand tall in front of it, and the silverback would charge, swinging its big arms. Gigantopithecus would stay calm throughout the fight. It would use its size to block the gorilla's hits and ignore any of its attempts to climb onto its back. Even though the silverback is quick and dexterous, Gigantopithecus' strength would likely help him win the fight. Although not as huge as Gigantopithecus, orangutans are impressive in their own way. Males can grow up to 1.5 meters, 5 feet tall, and weigh around 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, making them the biggest tree-dwelling mammals on Earth. They have long limbs and very strong shoulders that can be perfectly used to swing through the trees and branches, handling their surroundings on their own. The fast twitch muscle fibers of orangutans give them quick, powerful bursts and enormous strength for short activities. In a face-off, Gigantopithecus would roar when it spots an orangutan in the trees. Even though the orangutan is much smaller, it would swing quickly from vine to vine, throwing heavy fruits and branches. Gigantopithecus might struggle at first, but then it would pull up a thick vine and hit the base of the fig tree, causing it to lean. The orangutan, tired and out of time, would try to jump but fall. In the end, Gigantopithecus would win the fight. Chimpanzees, while not as big as Gigantopithecus, are still incredibly strong. They are about 1.5 times stronger than humans of the same size because of their more fast twitch muscle fibers and denser bones. Chimps also use their intelligence to their advantage. They use tools and clever strategies to find food to protect themselves from threats. In a fight with Gigantopithecus, the chimpanzee's agility and intelligence would be its main strengths. However, Gigantopithecus, with its huge size and power, would shake the jungle with its stomps. The chimpanzee, quick and clever, would try to dodge the giant's attacks and move around it. Despite its speed, the chimpanzee would eventually be overpowered. 
Gigantopithecus would trap the chimpanzee and its immense strength would be too much to handle, showing clearly that Gigantopithecus is the strongest among modern apes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. Feel free to share it with your friends and family or anyone you think might be interested in this topic. Also, click the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we upload new videos. We'll see you in the next episode.